I did not see good Templars and evil mages in that circle system. I saw prisoners and jailers. The prisoners learned to fear and the jailers cruelty. But the Templars served the Chantry until we asked them to be less harsh in their treatment of the mages. Does it trouble you? If it wasn't enough to close the breach, what use is it? You did everything we asked of you. And it still didn't work. What's important is that your mark is now stable, as is the breach. You've given us time, and Solas believes a second attempt might succeed, provided the mark has more power. The same level of power used to open the breach in the first place. That is not easy to come by. Clearly you have something in mind. We do. May I present Commander Cullen, leader of the Inquisition's forces. Such as they are. <coughs> we lost many soldiers in the valley, and I fear many more before this is through. This is Lady Josephine Montelier, our ambassador and chief diplomat. My love. I've heard much. It's a pleasure to meet you at last. And of course, you know Sister Liliana. My position here involves a degree of... She is our spymaster. Yes. Tactfully put, Cassandra. Pleased to meet you all. I mentioned that your mark needs more power to close the breach for good. Which means we must approach the rebel mages for help. And I still disagree. The Templars could serve just as well. <sighs> we need power, Commander. Enough magic poured into that mark. Might destroy us all. Templars could suppress the breach. Weaken it, so... Pure speculation. I was a Templar. I know what they're capable of. Unfortunately, neither group will even speak to us yet. The Chantry has denounced the Inquisition, and you specifically. That didn't take long. Shouldn't they be busy arguing over who's going to become divine? Some are calling you the Herald of Andraste, and that frightens the Chantry. The remaining clerics have declared it blasphemy, and we heretics for harboring you. Chancellor Roderick's doing, no doubt. It limits our options. Approaching the Majors or Templars for help is currently out of the question. Just how am I the Herald of Andraste? People saw what you did at the Temple, how you stopped the breach from growing. They have also heard about the woman seen in the rift when we first found you. They believe that was Andraste. Even if we tried to stop that view from spreading. Which we have not. The point is, everyone is talking about you. That's quite the title, isn't it? How do you feel about that? I'm not sure how I should feel. The Chantry has decided that for you, it seems. People are desperate for a sign of hope. For some, you're that sign. And to others, a symbol of everything that's gone wrong. They aren't more concerned about the breach? The real threat? They do know it's a threat. They just don't think we can stop it. The Chantry is telling everyone you'll make it worse. There is something you can do. A Chantry cleric by the name of Mother Giselle has asked to speak to you. She is not far and knows those involved far better than I. Her assistance could be invaluable. 
I'll see what she has to say. You will find Mother Giselle tending to the wounded in the hinterlands near Redcliffe. Look for other opportunities to expand the Inquisition's influence while you're there. We need agents to extend our reach beyond this valley, and you're better suited than anyone to recruit them. In the meantime, let's think of other options. I won't leave this all to the Herald. of Andraste. I've heard the stories. Everyone has. We know what you did at the breach. It's an honor to meet you, my lady. Inquisition Scout Harding, at your service. I, well, all of us here, will do whatever we can to help. <laughs> Harding, huh? Ever yeah. been to Kirkwall's high town? I can't say I have. Why? You'd be Harding and I... No, <laughs> never mind. Ugh. Ugh. Disgusted noise. <laughs> I love Harding, though. I'm starting to worry about these stories that everyone's heard. Oh, there's nothing to worry about. They only say you're the last great hope for Thetis. Oh, wonderful. The hinterlands are as good a place as any to start fixing things. We came to secure horses from Red Cliff's old horse master. I grew up here. And people always said that Dennett's herds were the strongest and the fastest this side of the Frostbacks. But with the Mage Templar fighting getting worse, we couldn't get to Dennett. Maker only knows if he's even still alive. Mother Giselle's at the crossroads helping refugees and the wounded. Our latest reports say that the war's spread there too. Corporal Vale and our men are doing what they can to help protect the people, but they won't be able to hold out very long. You best get going. No time to lose. Harding. Okay. This might interest you, sir. What is it? This could help us. But that didn't tell me none. Can I jump over this? No. Damn.
Let me get her butt. Giselle should be somewhere nearby. Hmm. I'm good. How are you? I mean, I'm as good as I can be. I'm as sick as a dog. Inquisition forces. They're trying to protect the refugees. Looks like they could use a hand. Hold. We are not a prophet. I do not think they care, Seeker. Templars, we mean you no harm. Doesn't look like they're listening. Victorious once more. How are you so perfect? There are mages here who can heal your wounds. Lie still. Don't... Don't touch me, mother. Their magic is... Turn to noble purpose. Their magic is surely no more evil than your blade. What? Hush, dear boy. Allow them to ease your suffering. Mother Giselle? I am. And you must be the one they are calling the Herald of Andraste. I'm told you asked for me. I know of the Chantry's denouncement, and I am familiar with those behind it. I won't lie to you. Some of them are grandstanding, hoping to increase their chances of becoming the new divine. Some are simply terrified. So many good people, senselessly taken from us. What 
happened was horrible. Fear makes us desperate, but hopefully not beyond reason. Go to them. Convince the remaining clerics you are no demon to be feared. They have heard only frightful tales of you. Give them something else to believe. You want me to appeal to them? If I thought you were incapable, I wouldn't suggest it. Will they even listen? Let me put it this way. You needn't convince them all. You just need some of them to doubt. The power is the unified voice. Take that from them and you receive the time you need. It's good of you to do this. I honestly don't know if you've been touched by fate. ...or sent to help us, but... ...I hope. Hope is what we need now. The people will listen to your rallying call... ...as they will listen to no other. You could build the Inquisition into a force... ...that will deliver us... ...or destroy us. I will go to Haven... ...and provide Sister Leliana the names of those in the Chantry... ...who will be amenable to a gathering. It is not much. ...but I will do whatever I can. Corporal Vale is coordinating the Inquisition's efforts in the area. We should speak with him. my wife. Please, I beg you. Well, how much did you see? Someone, anyone, please help my wife. What's wrong with your wife? She gets sick when the weather's foul. Can't catch her breath like cobwebs in her lungs. Our son Hindle makes a potion that lets her breathe. He's the only one who can make it, but he's joined that cult in the hills. Please, get to him and tell him what's wrong. W without that potion, she'll die. You have the potion. hungry night these people need food there are rams out in the hills good eating cooks easy and no lords around to kill you for poaching too dangerous to go hunting now more likely to find mages than monks good luck
Sure. Just you, just be on your way now. What is this place? Map making tenderfoot. Just some fields? No. I need to be on my way. I can watch over you. the Inquisition can find some way to help these people. Think you'll ever go back to Navarra, Seeker? Why? Are you eager to see me go? I wasn't, actually. But now that you mention it... How do you know I wouldn't just drag you along? Kill my heart. I've grown on you. Like fungus. Restore order by securing an alliance.
ahead is well defended. Be ready. Stop it. Oh no. Good, they're fighting the bear. No, please stop. Oh my god. That was hell. So here we are, Elf. Cleaning up another human mess. What would the Inquisition do without our stabilizing influence, Master Tethras? I assume they just start burning things. That does sound like most humans I know. Now, now, don't get touchy. We're just here to lend you simple humans our help. Before you cause everything to explode. Again.
No, I've been going the wrong way, damn it. I think I saw a bear go this way. Oh. I don't need to be soulless. Yep, there's a bear. Let's avoid angering the bear, please. By just doing this, don't even acknowledge it. It's fine. Guys, do not fight the bear, come on. I'm good. One down. None to go. This guy stop. Cassandra, no. Stop using all my healing potions. Ooh, okay, what's this? there. Great. Stop this. <laughs> no, nope, I'm good. Thanks.
good thing about bears is that they fight everything. Hey, isn't this where Blackwall is? Blackwall, help. I have a bear. A lot of fighting, it seems like. No, 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 no. Stop. Set up camp or keep moving. since the renegade templars faced a mage of any talent I confess, Solas, I am surprised you decided to remain. Why? The breach remains a threat to us all. Just the same. I wondered if you might leave now that we have a plan to seal it. Ah, because I am an apostate. I might flee before the Inquisition throws me in chains. I take my commitment seriously, Seeker. Come what may, I shall see this through. As you wish. 
Though I cannot guarantee what will happen in the days to come. I can. Kolowski may be a jerk, but I'll keep you safe. bandits. They moved with the efficiency of a trained group. Yeah, I think that's all of them. I think Blackwood's there now. 